This aftermarket part allows you to put two barrels on an SMG. Let's see if it's any good in zombies. We've seen double barrel shotguns before, but I don't think I've ever seen a double barrel SMG. Like I already love the concept of aftermarket parts, and this is just like a great concept for an SMG. Having two barrels on it is crazy. Was it like shooting it? Ooh. The shooting cadence already sounds pretty cool, but I am a bit concerned that this isn't going to do the most amount of damage because while I was looking at the conversion kit compared to just the normal AMR9, the damage didn't increase at all. Like really any stats didn't increase at all. It kind of just decreased a lot of stats. I think the only thing it really changes is the fire rate, but I guess we're going to find out today because here against tier one zombies, I mean, it seems all right, but I mean, what weapon doesn't? So we gotta go test it against tier two zombies, tier three zombies, a mega abomination, and even the storm caller. All right, here's some tier two zombies. Can this do anything to them unpacked and unupgraded? Um, not really. I mean, it does damage, but not a whole lot. I would need to use like my whole hundred round clip to take out all these zombies here especially if they're armored. This thing seems to struggle against armor because with this double barrel aftermarket part, you can't change any of the barrel attachments. So you can't really add anything that increases like armor penetration or damage unless you put on armor penetrating rounds. Depending on how this goes, maybe we'll come back into another game and see if armor penetrating rounds do anything. Because I always see people adding overpressurized rounds to their weapons because it looks like it increases the damage on the little stat sheet, but I don't really think it does anything in game. Now I'm a little scared to test this since I don't have a self revive right now, but let's see how this is doing against a tier three zombie. I want to kind of stay by the river so I can just jump right into it once we start getting overwhelmed. Oh, here's one right here. I don't think we're going to do any damage within these whole hundred rounds. Okay, I'm out of here. All right, uh, let's go ahead and upgrade this. Let's throw on our epic aether tool, our legendary crystal, and all of our perks. This has got to help it, right? Oh, yeah. These zombies are getting melted now. And since I still need to self-revive, let's do a little warm-up. Let's try to take on a little bounty here. See if we can't get one as a reward. What's up, Mimic? Oh, no. What? I thought I got out of that. I mean, the damage is all right against it. Seems kind of average so far. And there's the self revive we're looking for. Let's do one more bounty. I want to see if we can get a mangler or a disciple. And it's another mimic, of course. It heard me. But I want to see how this does against an elite that has armor. All right. One more bounty. Please don't be a mimic. Okay. It's a disciple. There he is. How much damage are we doing? Get that mask broken so the armor's gone. Eh, it's not bad. That's not terrible. That was actually pretty good. That was a pretty fast bounty kill. Oh, and dead wire, I'll take that. And since we're right by the Aether Storm here, we might as well go try out and see if we can take down the Stormcaller. Where you at, Stormcaller? I just want to talk. There he is. There's our guy. No health sapping. You have no health to regain. You just started fighting. There we go. Broke his mask. Oh, uh, we are really not doing that much damage. We got so little of his health gone, even with the ammo mod that's like super effective against him. And these armored zombies are beating my ass. Get back. We got him almost a half health though. Wait, how are you health at me from the back? Or sucking me from the back? This is already a struggle. And the reload on it is actually still so slow with speed cola. I did put on the largest mag possible, but I do that with every zombie's gun. Usually it's not this big of a problem. But it's like whenever I have to reload, I have to leave the storm or the zombies are just going to take me out. This is a war of attrition. I have to keep going back and forth. And he keeps taking my health faster than I can deal the damage. How is he already like back to full health? Knock it off. This like does no damage to the zombies in the storm either. It's like impossible to kill them unless they're outside of it. This gun might be on fraud watch. It's not like the AMR9 was high up there to begin with. And my gas mask is getting low. His health just keeps going up. All right, I'm just gonna have to go repair it. Jeez, we might just be fighting that guy all game. I think I'm gonna go try to take out a mega abomination. See how it does against him. And then we'll come back and fight him until the storm just takes over the map. Sit tight, buddy. We'll be right back. Maybe our problem is we don't got elemental pop. I could help out a bit. Maybe. I'm starting to cope. I'm not seeing any mega abominations. So let's just try a bounty. See if we get one this way. Oh, no, of course. The second I use it, one spawns here. You know what, Mimic? Getting canceled. What's up, dude? Already shooting a laser. That's what we like to see. Did we really not break his face? Are you serious? I mean, the Mimic pulled us out of that. We had a, a few uncontested shots against him. It's got to be close to breaking though, right? Yeah, there it is. Honestly, you might be better off just putting on like a higher damage barrel than two of them. But I hope they don't just completely throw away the double barrel AMP part. 
You can see my brain slow down when I try to fucking focus. Because I really think this is a sick idea for an aftermarket part. But they just picked like the worst weapon to put it on. They just put a fresh coat of paint on mid. Oh, here's another laser. Can we tank it with our frenzied? We're getting double sucked right here. Holy fuck. Normally with most guns, we can take down mega abominations like pretty easily. Like they don't make it hard for you to take them down. This guy's fighting us. And so are all of his minions. And we are out of self revives, which is a uh, insane concern right now. We're just got to fight this guy from a distance. Is that an insta kill? That might be our only saving grace right here. We got to grab that now. Give me that. And now we're in business. This is the best attachment you could ask for for this gun. Come on. Almost there. Now you can shoot your laser. Try me. There we go. Damn, dude. I was not expecting this gun to be this bad. All right, round two, Stormcaller. You're not ready for this. Oh, he's still at half health. Very kind of you to stay at low health. Let's keep it that way. You don't even get over here and fight me. He's staying all the way back. You know what? Maybe I should play like that. But I'm scared that shooting him from outside the storm will send him towards the middle to regen health. I feel like if you could just attack him from outside the storm, everyone would just do that. Oh, come on. We got him so low now. He's almost there. Yeah, keep staying in that one spot. Don't try to get health from me and we're fine. Let's go. So I can definitely take out the storm caller. Just might take you half the game to do it. All right, well, we still got 10 minutes left. Let's go try some tier three bounties. This is like the first time in so long. I haven't seen like eight people in the tier three zone. It seems like ever since everyone started like tombstone glitching. What is shooting me? What the fuck? How am I getting shot? What is hitting me? Hello? What the fuck just happened? Maybe that's why nobody's in the tier three zone. Because we got Casper with a fucking AK. And he's lighting me up. What I was saying is ever since everybody started tombstone glitching, it seems like tier three is just filled from the moment the game starts. It's like almost impossible to find a contract over here. And I'm not a huge fan of like tombstone glitching, like where you get to actually exfil and keep all your stuff in the tombstone constantly. But I'll still use tombstone the way it was designed in this game. It's like the first time tombstone's actually been like viable. Because like sometimes before I record, I'll play like a whole game. I'll get as much money as possible. I'll grab like as good as items as I can. Throw it in a tombstone, die, and then the next game, all my stuff is there and I don't have to spend time setting up for the video, or at least during the recording. But I'm not gonna lie, I it is kind of nice when someone in the lobby is generous that has a tombstone glitch. They can just drop you a bunch of money so you don't got to set up. Sometimes they got like some schematics you don't have. So I don't know. I, I go back and forth on it because the amount of times this game crashes and I've lost everything has been way too many. So it's nice to have some way to get some stuff and guarantee to keep it. But at the same time, it kind of takes the fun out of the game. At least a little bit. But we are doing absolutely nothing to this mangler. It's like a BB gun to armor doing nothing. Dude, this thing sucks. Oh no, I think I pissed off the mega abomination too. We don't need all this, especially with no self revives. I don't need this dude to start shooting a laser. Oh, here he fucking goes. We almost got the mangler though. He's close. Come on. There we go. Okay. Um, cashmere. Let's throw that. Oh, what do we get out of that? Nothing really. Let's leave. I am not trying to go down here. Let's get to an X-Fill and then come back in with the armor piercing rounds. See if there's any redeeming qualities to this gun. So I'm using these armor piercing rounds. Let's see if it's any better. All right, which one of you got armor? You do? Um, it breaks the armor a lot faster, it seems like. Because unpack a punch, unupgraded. I actually killed the armored zombie faster than anything. These other tier two zombies are just tanking shots. So it's either you do well against armor or you don't. I mean, obviously, but what I meant to say was either do really good against armor and bad against non-armored are really good against non-armored and bad against armored. There's no in between. Let's go ahead and throw our rare Aether tool on this in pack two. Still doing pretty decent over here. Or maybe armor piercing is the way to go for this. But just out of curiosity, what is this doing against a tier three armored? Can this do anything? It busted his helmet pretty fast. Uh, that's not bad. Armor piercing is the move for this. I honestly didn't expect the ammo types to do really anything. Maybe I was wrong about overpressurized. It's insane how much faster it kills armored zombies than normal though. Like, why is there such a big trade-off? Like, does it not do the same crit damage? Like, after you break the helmet, is, is armored zombie's head softer? They got soft spots? No wonder they got all the armor on. I'm gonna do bounties until we get a mangler. That's the real test against armor. Oh, we got a mangler right off the bat. Perfect. All right, moment of truth. Oh, yeah, it shattered his, he his helmet so fast. What about his body armor? That's taking a little bit more to do. A lot more to do, actually. 
Can you even break it? Does it keep repairing? No, I think it just broke it. I feel like it's taking him out a bit faster. It definitely took his helmet out faster, that's for sure. Let's try out some napalm burst to him. I think that's supposed to be pretty good against armor. Please be another mangler. Oh, let's go. They're actually listening to me this game. All right, does napalm burst help out at all here? It looks like it. it. looks like we're doing a bit more damage, but he's also weak to napalm burst. It's his kryptonite. Oh, he's dead. That was way faster. Okay, so a, a bit of the right combination of things. You can do a lot more damage. I'm gonna run through a few of these till I got enough money to buy pack three. Give me pack three. I'm gonna throw a decoy. Because they got some goodies over here. Nope. Not even that good. Middies. This might just be one of the weirdest guns I've ever used in this game. That heavy armored zombie just went down faster than a zombie that doesn't even have skin. You think if it would get through armor, it could get through flesh, but maybe I just don't know enough about like bullets. Maybe we weren't doing enough damage to the flesh zombies because we didn't have dead shot. Let's give that a try. Nope, it still seems to do like less against them than it does the armored. I mean, we're definitely doing more damage. Obviously, Deadshot helps it out. It's like, this is the Armored Zombie Destroyer. Let's test this against a Tier 3 bounty. Oh, and it's a Mangler. Perfect. What's up, buddy? Okay, let me break the helmet. There we go. Doing some decent damage to him. Oh, but he's dealing it back. Still taking a lot to take him down. That was our whole 200 round mag against him. Only took how much out of his health? A third? Damn, this is taking a bit, actually. I thought it'd be good against him. I take all my ammo to kill him. Oh, no, I went too far away. Now he's running back in fucking healing. Bastard. You're the one that chased me over there. Finally got him. Damn. Whew. That took forever. So I think the armor piercing bullets definitely help it out, especially against these armored zombies. But against like manglers and stuff, I don't think it really makes that big of a difference. Like this is a decent like zombie slayer, but against bosses, it really struggles. I guess it's not terrible if you're just coming in and trying to get kills with it. I think I've seen enough. Let's get out of here. So final thoughts on the double barrel aftermarket part. It's uh, kind of disappointing. It's a really cool idea, but it just doesn't do as much damage as you think it would. Even with the armor piercing rounds, it does a lot better against the armored zombies, which is a big flaw in the weapon. But still, it just doesn't really break the mold. Like there's so many better weapons you can use without having to use an aftermarket part. But I hope they don't throw this concept away. I want to see this on like an LMG or something. I think it'd be crazy or maybe even like a sniper. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Later.